Porky, we've got lots of stories to tell. We have, yeah. Uh, we haven't got an awful lot of time to tell okay. them in. Right. So let's get going. Let's get going. Okay, indeed. Now, um, you can't get away from Boris Johnson these days. You can really you? can't. No. Um, I mean, it's it's absolutely excellent the way that he's blown up the political scene. He's foreign secretary, then he's resigned. Now his wife's thrown him out. Marina. Yeah, Marina. Aqua, Aqua Marina. Marina. She's not very happy. Also, she's mm. a barrister, so mm. I imagine mm. she'll be taking yep. him to the cleaners, will she not, uh, for the amount of philandering that he's done over the years. They reckon... I, I would imagine. They reckon yeah. that he's got through something like 15 affairs yeah. in their 25 years of marriage. I know. But, of course, this should yeah. not come as any great surprise to no. Mrs Johnson. No, of course it shouldn't. Because guess what? Mm. She was his mistress when he was married to somebody else. That's right. So, yeah. you know, what goes so around comes she around. She was his mistress when he married to his first wife. Yeah. Not only that, I mean, he's, you know, former girlfriends. I mean, that, uh, that his uh, columnist at The Spectator, you yeah, know, yeah. a very exotically named woman, I forgot Petronella. what her name was. Petronella Wyatt, yeah. who was the daughter of uh, Wyatt, who was Lord the millionaire. Wyatt. Lord Wyatt, the millionaire. Whose diaries were fantastic, weren't they? They were, yeah, yeah. And a big friend of Mrs Thatcher's, by yes. the way. And, um... And she, uh, uh, reportedly, and every all the reports read this week, A, had a miscarriage and B, had an abortion uh -huh. at the hands of old Boris. Yes. But, but the one story I really love, because you and I can relate to this, Mike, you know, yeah. Boris was, at some stage during his life, a journalist. Not a particularly good one. Mm. He was, first of all, the uh, Brussels correspondent of the Financial Times, he I think, was, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. But then, you know, through, just really through who you know and what you know, he ended up as editor of The Spectator. Yeah. The Spectator's a magazine that I like. I read it every week, yes. along with New Statesman. Was he there when uh, Andrew Neil owned it? Uh, yeah, or I think so, was yeah. It before that? No, no, Andrew Neil's never owned it. He's been chairman, hasn't he? He's yeah. been chairman of was the company. It? Yeah, that's right. Algie Cuff owned it, I think, was when it, he went was there. It when, when Boris was there, was, was it not associated with Conrad Black? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? Conrad Black owned The Telegraph. Yeah, yeah it could have been, yeah, because he owned The I Telegraph think there was the a Spectator. Because that's how I think he ended up getting the column in The Telegraph as well. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, well, The Telegraph and The Spectator were certainly linked. Yes. But what, what I really love is the... Um, the way he used to pick up his uh, birds, and mm. and I read an account when over you say the weekend. Birds, that yeah. is a slightly derogatory term. Well, I suppose which it is. we prefer I'm sorry, not yeah. to use yeah. any more. Yeah, ladies, ladies, about yeah. the fairer sex. Yeah. And um, and one woman who was anonymous wrote. She just said the thing with about Warris is he never gave up. Uh -huh. She said he wasn't a particularly good-looking chap. No, uh, he wasn't an Adonis like that. Yeah. But he was so persistent. Yes. In the end, he talked yeah. you into having sex with him. Well, persistence yeah. is a very, very underrated well, uh, uh, well, quality. Well, you might know about. I'd obviously. have to say that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would okay. agree. Definitely. So I she concur. said he, he was just incredibly persistent mm. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he he had a massive intellect, mm. and so he could he could really charm you with massive intellect. Yeah, massive intellect. Yeah. He could charm you with fantastic tales of you know literature yeah. and art and he science. He also and said all that. to also have something else which is quite large. Well, as well. I'm not getting into that. That's a, that, well, that's that, what I'm told. That's a really smutty no, you know, road to go down. No, because that's really also, smutty road. But that's also one of the reasons that women yeah. like him a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, because they want to find out one if it's true. Really? And two, once they have found out, they go, blimey. You're talking about the size of the member, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, not the member of Parliament, no. the, the member that the member has. Yeah, exactly. Is that what you're talking That's about? That's what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Without wishing to put too fine a point uh, on exactly. it. Exactly. But anyway, yeah. the, the story that I really uh, love is that um, he did exactly what editors have done over the years. Yeah. Uh, as editor of The Spectator, mm. he decided, believe it or not, that the bridge column was uh -huh. fucking useless. Right. You know, I mean, and, and he called somebody and he said, this fucking bridge column. Yeah. He said, you know, he said, I, you know, my parents play a bit of bridge. His yeah. father's Stanley, obviously. Yeah, of course. And, you know, his mother's still around, yeah. is she? I think is she, she is, yeah. yeah. I think she is, yeah. But I, I, don't, so. I don't think Stanley and her are together. No, no. I think Stanley had the same well, philandering really sort of way. Well, they're very bizarre family. Very bizarre family. You know. Yeah, very bizarre family. So, uh, so you know, he, he's looking through the proofs one day. He says, fucking bridge. And my parents, you know, my father, my mother, really, the fucking bridge column, mm. useless. Right. He said, uh, look, he said, uh, how do we get rid of people around here? Right. And the personal assistant said... Well, normally speaking, you know, because we're a very civilised sort yeah. of organisation, because their editorial offices were in a townhouse in, yes. like, uh, Kensington yeah. or somewhere, you know? Right. So it wasn't like a proper newspaper office. Well, there were office. loads of people there, either, were there? No, it was about half a dozen yeah. in the office, and right. all the rest were freelancers mm. who sent their stuff in, you know? Yeah. He said, well, I'm going to fucking get rid of this fucking bridge gun. What, what's his name? And the pair said, oh, no, it's not a he, it's a, it's a her. Oh, right. it's a her, it's a, oh, some old biddy, mm. you know, running the ridge column. He said, well, I fucking want it out. She said, well, what we normally do is we normally buy them lunch. Right. Buy them lunch? So I have to buy somebody fucking lunch for, you know. It, right. it, well, that's the way we do it, you know. Uh, oh, well, we'll arrange your lunch, then, but make it very, you know, quiet yeah. and quick or something. And they go to rules, right? Okay. 
Anyway. Which, he, in fact, is the place he's taken his latest uh, well, uh, an amorato, it, it, supposedly. It, it, it has a ring about it, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, he's Carry. sitting there wondering where, you know, the old biddy is. Yeah. And this very attractive woman in her mid-30s walks uh-huh. in. Right? Right. Uh, hello. Uh, who are you? I, I'm the bridge correspondent. Anyway. The bridge too far. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he then, uh, you know, gets completely enamoured by mm. this woman. Yeah. And he takes his phone now and pretends a very important call from the office, my yeah. dear. Could you excuse me for a moment, please? Yeah. Goes outside, mm. books a hotel room in the yeah. nearest hotel, so right. wherever that is in Covent Garden. Yeah. I can't think which one it could well, have been. Well, there's a load of them on the Strand, aren't there? It could have been the Strand Palace or something yeah. like that. Well, hopefully not. Ends it's a bit up, low rent. Ends up, not only did he not sack the bridge yeah. columnist, yeah. he took the hotel and shagged her that yeah. afternoon. Well, there you right? go. I'm so, sure there's a so, joke in there somewhere that's no, bridge-related, but I, mean, but I don't know that about to me, That, to me, reminds me of the sort of behaviour yeah. that you get involved in, OK? Well, I've never, ever, ha- yeah. ever done anything like that, no. I don't but believe you. I think you probably have. Certainly, it is a very, very yeah. interesting yeah. world. The world of mm. media, yeah. the world of politics, the kind of women yes. that hang around in the world of politics yes. and media, yes. uh, the kind of things that they're willing to do, yeah. the kind of people they're willing to hang out with, yeah. because they're all ambitious. Yes, They all right. think it's a great idea to hang out with the boss. That's right. And I'm afraid yeah. that sometimes, one has to succumb That's right. to these things. But there's another um, story about the Johnson family, which I've picked up, which no. again I think relates to you, okay? You? okay. Now, Stanley Johnson, yes. who, when he was younger. I've spoken to Stanley a few times. Yes, He's I a fascinating you. character. A fascinating character. Yeah. And, I, and I think that all uh, Boris's shagaruni instincts may have come from his father. Well, you may be right. I'm not accusing his father I of being possibly comment. a rampant shagger. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's had children and families and all that kind yeah, yeah. of stuff. But anyway, when he was a young man, he's 25 years of age, mm. right, he was sort of sorted out as yeah. a potential MI5 spy. Oh, yeah. OK? Yeah. So he goes to the training college, mm. right, wherever that was. MI5 training college. MI5 training Hopefully college. Hopefully there's not a big sign for it. The, the <laughs> countryside. Know, yeah. and, and driving home that night, yeah. uh, and in those days they didn't have, like, motorways. They had, like, country lanes yeah, yeah. and all this kind of oh. stuff. There's, he passes a sports car, yeah. which has broken down. I see. And the bonnet is up. Uh-huh. And, you know, it was one of those typical scenes. Yeah. A helpless young lady mm. was staring at the engine. And, of course, Stanley Johnson drove by and thought, right. mm, this is all right, you know. So he stops. He says, hello, my dear, you know, can I... Uh, assist can you. I, can I assist you and help way. you? And she says, oh, I, I really don't know what's going on. Anyway, he sorts the problem out, starts mm. the car, puts the... But it says, um, I tell you what... Uh, and she says, oh, oh, thank you so much, you know. Yeah. Well, well, how can I thank you? So how can you thank me? So, very nice little pub, you know, Coming up a mile down you. the road. Yeah. Go and let's talk about it there. Mm. She was, uh, she'd been planted to try and test the metal no. of potential MI5 really? agents to see if they could be sucked into a honey trap. And, 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 she and was, was he sucked into a honey trap? Yes. She, really? She was, being, she was playing the part mm. of a Russian spy. I see. An infiltrator. Yeah. And, of course, he allegedly mm. started giving away pillow secrets to this did. woman, right? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. And then failed the MO5 test. Yeah. And never got into MI5. How well, about that? Well, let that be a lesson to anyone yeah. who's trying to become a spy. Yeah. Because quite often, if you see a situation that looks a bit too good to be true, yeah. or goes a yeah. bit better than you think, yeah. uh, and presents you with an opportunity exactly. that you didn't think you were going to get, exactly. almost inevitably, yeah. there's something wrong. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Now... There are competing views as to whether Boris Johnson has improved his chances of being yeah. Prime Minister mm. or disimproved yeah. them in the current political climate. That's right. So there is one point of view that actually it was Boris mm. who leaked to the Sun newspaper the fact that his wife, yeah. Marina, was, uh, had I don't thrown think him out. I doubt about that. Had first thrown him out. Yeah. And then, secondly, was divorcing him, yes. OK? I don't think there's any doubt about that at all. And accusing him of adultery. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have to be very bright to work that one out, did no. you? Don't right? forget, one of the best friends that Boris Johnson has got hmm. in the world of media yes. uh, is one Tony Gallagher, uh, who's the editor of The Sun. That's right. And they've been seen out jogging together quite frequently. Oh, they have? At the and whenever there's party yeah. conferences, yeah. they go out yeah. jogging together. And Boris is not a stupid yes. man. No. You know, he knows how to make a story happen. That's uh, right. And he also knew um, that despite whatever may be coming this week, yep. if the divorce papers dropped, yep. it was better for him to get ahead of the game 
And it clearly seems to me, from all the publicity yeah. that's come out about this carry woman, that's right. uh, who's the Tory PR, that's right. you know, a lot of the thing, a lot of the news, because I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. Once the Grayson Favour Mansion business started, that's right. remember when he got, when he yeah, resigned right. as and foreign he, secretary? He wouldn't get out of the official and mansion. he wouldn't get out of the official mansion. I think that's when newspapers started going, well, this is a bit weird. Yeah. Why are they not just going back to the house that's right. together? And the truth of the matter is that they weren't really living together. No, they weren't. She uh, was in the house mm, anyway. And, he was yeah. away. and then, of course, he lost Chevening. Yeah. Chevening is the country retreat, which, is, which is given over to the foreign secretary, yeah. right? And, and I also wonder whether And she, he couldn't go there, so right. he had nowhere to go. And I wonder whether Carrie, mm, yeah. uh, you know, the girl in question from the Tory party, yeah, yeah. Uh, may have been a bit too, shall we say, indiscreet yes. about her sort of uh, doings with him. Well, she could have done. I mean, she's a very beautiful woman, Carrie. Yeah. And in fact, she's about the same apples. age. Uh, apples. That's yeah. how she's known. About the same age as his oldest daughter, right? A little bit older. Four a, years a, older. A little bit older. But I mean, you can't really blame a man for having an eye for a pretty woman. No. Because that's what we were programmed as males and females Emails to actually do. Well, you some know of I mean? yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. Some of us. Not all of us. Uh, not all of us, no, no. but uh, majority, I would say. Uh -huh. uh, Programme, you know, man, woman, attraction, all that kind of stuff, you know, there we are. So, what I'm saying is now... Well, are you saying he's improved his situation to be Prime Minister or not? Well, he thinks he's cleared the decks. Yeah. He's all right, get all that out of the way. Yeah. And then, uh, what he was doing, clearly, you're absolutely right, he's talked to Tony Gallagher and he said, look, if I make my run for Prime Minister... And then the day after I suddenly get it, mm. you're going to be breaking stories about yet another shagging yeah, episode. Yeah. Why don't I just get it all out of the way now? Uh -huh. I'm sure Tony said, yeah, it'd be a great idea. Mm. That'd be a great splash tomorrow, yeah. you know, bonking Boris, yeah. great headline, you know, and all that. Let's yeah. do it that way. I think that's what he's done. Yeah. Uh, and indeed, mm. there may be more stories to come out, though. Indeed. Because don't forget, uh, if he has had 15 affairs mm. in the 10 years, yeah. tw sorry, in the 25 years he's been married, mm. then there's plenty more fish in the sea, mm. as it were. I agree. Another report I read was a woman who said... The most dangerous place to be in the world mm. is in the back of a black cab taxi yeah. with Boris Johnson. Really? He seems to have They have, eight a, they have arms. a phrase, don't they? What's that? Not safe in taxis. Not safe in taxis, yeah. that's N -S -I -T. right. S-I-T. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. He, he said he seems to have eight arms, you know, his, mm. his you know, probing hands, yeah, if yeah. want of a better word, uh -huh. and all that kind well, of stuff. Well, that's not allowed. Yeah, well, it's not that's allowed. That's not the sort of behaviour well, you should un, do. Un, un, unless it's in agreement with the person yeah. in the back of the taxi with you, of course, you know. Well, this inference being that it's yeah. not. Well, I'm not inferring anything. Not, I'm not safe in taxis means, you know, that's mm. unwanted well, attention. Well, yes, but I mean, I think we've gone a bit too far down the old political correctness line. Mm. How many times have you been in the back of a taxi with a young lady yeah. and you've thought... I think I'll test the water. No. Because that's what, the, that's what no, it is. It's that's testing not what the water. I do, no. No? Never. No, I've Absolutely tested never. the water in the back of taxi you? sometimes, yeah. Really? Yeah. Very successful, With actually. Really? Oh, I can't go into that. Really? Can't go into that. Are you talking about one, in London? One woman who, who was, she was a, a championship rower. Rower? Yeah, she used to row. Right. Lot, yeah, and she also, she's very strong. What, in a four or an eight? No, in a, in a, in a single one. You know, Coxless she, four? No, 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 in a single boat. You know, oh, called? what, on her own? Yeah, on her own, yeah. Well, a rowing boat. No, 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 you idiot. You know... Single skull, you talking Skull. She was a scholar. Single skull. She was a scholar, yeah. Really? But she also had a boat. She had big arms. Yeah, yeah, quite powerful, yeah. <laughs> How did you know her? Uh, she worked in the city. Really? Yeah, she worked in the city, and, and you know, our talk sports officers are on the edge of the city. Oh, and... so this was when you worked in talk sport, was it? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Really? We got up there That's relatively time. recently, then. Uh, well, no, it was about ten years ago. Ten? Uh, Mr. Brazil and I would go for so lunch in the city. So this was your, uh, mm? uh, your, uh, yeah. your heart problem? Oh, after, uh, no, actually, it might be longer. It might have been prior to the heart problem, actually. Really? Yeah, um, now I think about it. Uh -huh. And she also had a boat oh, yeah. down in uh, Paynton in Devon. Paynton? Yeah, and invited me to go boating with her. And, and literally... What sort of boat? Well, you know, like with sails and all that kind a of stuff. A sailboat? Yeah, and in the end, in the end... She had a very successful career in the city, mm. but then she said, I've decided I'm going to give it all up and I'm going to go and sail around the world on no. my boat. Would you like to come with me? Really? Seriously, that was you an must offer be I had. mad. Yeah. No way does anybody yeah. want to you to go yeah. around the world with them. Yeah. She Imagine did. being locked up with you in a fucking tiny cabin yeah, for a whole she, year. She did. She wanted to, she really? wanted me was to. Was she in love with you? Yeah, very much so. She wanted I've me never to heard this story before. Oh, yeah, she wanted me to what run was her away name? with her. Uh, what was her name? <laughs> I can't really remember, to be honest. You don't even remember any part of her name. Uh, any part of it. Like her first name, last name. I think it might have been like Julia or something. Julia. Or June. Or, no, June. not June. Julia. Juliet. Juliet. Juliet, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Was I can't she quite an remember. Olympic standard rower? Well, no, but she was very competitive. Uh -huh. She used to go to a place called Holmes Pierpoint, where the, that's the National Rowing School. Oh, yeah. And rack up, you know, record times on you the, the kayak. You pictures of no, Why because not? in those days you didn't have like phones with cameras, so you didn't take pictures. You took pictures didn't take with pictures. cameras. Yeah, well, I didn't carry a camera. I'd take pictures of anybody, did I? But it was it was it was quite um. 
quite tempting to start off with the thought, how romantic is this? Running mm. away with a woman and going sailing around the world. Yeah, yeah. Except I knew I had a great career still ahead of me, yeah. and I didn't want to deny uh, millions of people oh. from listening to me over the next mm. ten years. You know, so I, I, I gave it up. A cute I, gave, I gave up the dream. Yeah, I had a cute heart failure. I gave up the dream in order to provide for what I call my flock. Mm. You know, you would have been hopeless and going around the world. I think I probably would. You know that pal of ours, by the way, still in Spain, Paul Breen Turner? Yes. He's still bobbing around in a knackered old about boat Gibraltar, somewhere in the harbour of Gibraltar. Yeah, yeah. Claims that, oh, it's a great place to live. Not for me, pal. So you're in love with someone.